All right, welcome to our guide of Rhythmic Trader Pro's new time chart functionality. Um, as you can see, I got about six charts up right now, just showing you a little showcase of all the features. Um, but let's get started. Let's go into a little depth on how to open a time chart, how to manipulate it all, and get the most out of this new feature that Rhythmic Trader Pro has. So from the main console, I'm going to go to File, and then Time Chart. When the chart opens, I'm going to have this little thing right here. It basically doesn't show anything. Um, and you enter in the symbol of what you want to actually watch or trade or whatever. So I did the S&P. And here's the default settings right here for the chart. Unless you have it saved to another template, of course. Now, first thing to go over is if you don't know the actual symbol, you can do just like with anything else in uh, Rhythmic. Just double click on it to edit it, or if you are editing it, you know, click double click, and um, you can search through the symbols here. Actually, I don't need to do that on the symbol, but if you did, um, let's go ahead and break down what the actual time chart is. We're going to break it down into three different sections. Um, at the top here, underneath the window header, you're going to see the chart quote board. This is basically the latest quotes for the actual commodity that you're watching um, it includes a little bit of uh, a little bit of historical stuff such as the high price the low price and if it's open or not then we have the chart header which is this actual red band right here and this is where you can manipulate the chart itself it includes a lot of different settings and then we have the chart body, which of course is the chart here that you see in front of you. So let's go over the chart quote board first. At the top left of the quote board, there are five menus. Um, we have chart, which basically controls chart settings. We can put it in compact mode and remove all of that altogether. To get back out of that, you just right click and uncheck compact mode. We can take off this little price window bar that was just on there. We can take off these panel simula er, panel separators that are uh, separating the studies from the actual price chart itself. And uh, we can just manipulate basically where we want the scale at and other generic chart settings. Uh, then we have drawing and annotation. And these are basically just some drawing tools that you have. You can actually give a title, or I'm sorry, you can display the titles of uh, whatever studies that you have currently running which is good when you have a lot of them up there Dr drawing these uh, these tools take into account the actual market conditions so if I do this raw graph regression I just click arbitrarily it's good look at how it adjusts as I go on and see more data so it's kinda it's automatically placing the graph regression where it should be which is a cool little feature and uh, just to remove these little drawing tools, here I'll draw another one real quickly. Just going to do a Fibonacci retracement. And I will do it right here on this little move. To remove those, you just uh, simply click on them, click delete, click on it, click delete. Then we have in the next toolbar here, we have main price series. And uh, the selections on this menu enable you to change the appearance of the series itself, which, being that I have candlestick, I can adjust the widths of the candles themselves in the wick. I can change their actual colors if I prefer something different. If I want the up color to say be orange, I can do that. And if I actually, I'm going to go ahead and uh, put this back to one so you can see, change this to... Well, we're about to go over this, so I'm just going to zoom in real quick so you can see. 50 bars, and um, it looks really cool. It's kind of got a gradient over it. It looks a little 3D. You can take that off, and it's just a flat chart now. Uh, it's whichever you prefer. I kind of like the look of it. Um, and then linear and semi-log is the actual scale on the right. Linear is a scale that you see on most charts. However, log kind of evens things out. You can't really tell at this point, but um, it's another way of looking at a chart. Secondary studies are going to be actual studies that don't 
they're indicators basically, but they uh, they don't overlay on the chart. They get added to another panel. So if I say add the MACD, and then uh, I tell it what symbol I want it on, I can set my settings for the MACD, and I can change the color. Click OK, and there's a little help thing right here. It's going to give you a little example of what's going on, what you're doing right now. Click Apply, and I have my MACD now. And I can add that for as many as I want. And I can use, I can either click on it, click delete, or I can, I'll add another one again so you can see, just add this oscillator. I can right click in my price box if I have it showing and I can modify it, change the color, or delete it. And the same goes if I just click on it. Double click, I'm sorry. And I can change the input as well, if that's one of the input parameters that the study actually takes. After that, we have our final menu item, which is technical overlays. And that's basically just technical indicators that actually go on the chart itself. So you have your Bollinger Bands, you have your Stop and Reversal. I'll change the color here to, uh, let's do a green. Click OK and I'll zoom back in so we can see you can see my stop and reversal being plotted along with it one thing I like about rhythmic is that there's so much customization possible as you can see here I'm just changing the color of this overall thing here it's good when I have a lot of charts open so that they don't all look the same and I get confused I can change the color just at any time I want I can even use a custom color if I like and uh, that way I can just quickly know without having to look at everything when the market's really moving and know, um, have a better idea at least of what I'm getting, what kind of trouble I'm getting myself into. So now let's go over this chart trader, which is this red band here. Change the color of that as well. Doesn't have to be a red band. This is another good way to know which chart you're on when you're in compact mode. So the first thing we have is the actual chart type. We have equivalent volume bars, equivalent volume shadow bars, standard just OHLC bars. They got the three line break, KG, point and figure, all that good stuff. Rinko, a lot, a lot of good charts. One thing that's cool is candlesticks showing volume, which basically adjusts the width of the candle itself to how much volume was in that move so that. Uh, it kind of manipulates the chart to give you a better idea of where the heavy moves were. As you can see in Candlestick, they all look the same. Everything looks like an equivalent move. But if you do this showing volume, you can kind of see where the market gets into chop a little better. Um, I'm going to go ahead and turn off this price info box so we can see better for the rest of this. Then we have our actual period selection tool. Um, there's several ones to choose from here two hour, five minute, daily, all that all that good stuff. I'm going to go ahead and turn daily back off because uh, I don't have all the data that I should. Then we have our look back period. Um, it's going to look back as far as it can on the commodity if you do max look back. Otherwise, if you have a lot of data already loaded, you can do one of these five year or whatever. If, um, in my experience, I, I find that if I'm actually doing a look back and um, I do one that's too far for the commodity, it kind of hangs. So one thing to do would just always to be, if you're not sure, go with max look back. Then we have our session template. And basically we can set what what we want our open and close to be. And you can go, you can go from midnight to midnight or just whenever you want really. And it's going to adjust the session to that. And uh, this is your zoom. Basically show 45 bars you can uncheck it and it's going to show all the data that it has I did max look back so it's going to go as far back as it'll go um, but when you check it it's kind of like your zoom and you can go in really close and only show five bars or you can the default is 480 click that and it's going to show 480 bars um, I'm going to go back to 50 so we can actually see what's going on a little closer on this video and then we have show trade bar, which is basically this. It allows you to trade right next to your chart. When you hold down and click, 
it's adjusting my stop and limit prices um, and uh, you can you know do all the cool stuff you can enter a bracket order reverse your position we have a, we have a whole video on this if you want to learn more about the trade bar but you can toggle it on and off with this and then in the upper right you just have what it is on the day when you change your session it actually changes where the open was and so um, this could be subject to change and then you have your volume accumulating right here and this the same thing is available up here I'm gonna go ahead and hide that so we can see more and finally we have the chart body itself and this is where the main series secondary studies and the overlays are displayed um, we can change the actual look of a lot of the things on here if I right click um, I can actually enter orders as well I don't have to have that trade bar up I can show my price info and the trade bar itself pretty quickly I mean it's gonna do it at wherever I right click basically and you can tell that by the line so if you were to say buy limit it's gonna do it at wherever that line is that you currently have if I hold down and click and my price info isn't showing it's gonna show right there and as you can see the one column is changing that's showing whatever bar that I'm currently on all the different um, info that we have currently up on the chart about it in in one area and then this next one is the actual the actual close or the latest bar that it's seen right here but this is the one that I'm actually adjusting and that's basically it there's a lot of cool stuff you can do that I didn't go over a lot of a lot of visual enhancements like for example colors here you can do a gradient on the background and uh, you can make it look really really cool see that I got my my gradient kinda hard to see really um, but I mean of course you can change it and do what you want there but there's there's lots of cool stuff to check out not a lot that we could go over in this video without it being you know an hour long but this is the new charting functionality and it looks really good uh, and that's with rhythmic trader pro that's available on Optimus's website I'm gonna go ahead and pull up that again Let's see if I can get it up here go to platforms and our trader and here I can download pro sign up for a free demo if I'd like and start trading rhythmic with charts